Hi everyone, my name is Nima Fakara. I'm the composer for Connor for Detroit Become Human. We're at my studio today in Marina Del Rey where I'll be taking you guys behind this score and showing you guys some of the stuff I've been up to. I'll be showing you guys some of the analog synthesizers, modular synthesizers, as well as the modified and custom instruments I've been building for the project. I'll be also introducing you guys to some of my collaborators, as well as showing you guys some clips from the sessions we've been working with on the electric string quartet unplugged. And this is Max. Hi, Max. Hi. So this is the Mini Moog Voyager. Uh, this was primarily used for all the Connors theme, especially that ostinato you hear when he's flipping the coin and before you get into the hostage scene. I wanted to capture something that was very warm, uh, very analog, very electronic, but still had a punch to it. Uh, so I used this synthesizer mainly for a lot of those really intense moments, especially kind of the ticky tickies that goes throughout the score. Um, and it sounds something like this. There's a filter that I use, I use a lot often with the whole thing, but um, it sounds like this. You get the idea. So this is the Resonant Garden by uh, some amazing people actually up in Portland, Portland uh, Folk Tech. Uh, that's the name of the company that actually makes some really, really awesome stuff. Um, and this is one of the things that they created. Uh, I modified it a little bit from the inside, uh, but the concept of it is uh, whatever the sound is that you hear from here or from different uh, resonation that actually happens within the in inside of it. And I use this uh, a lot for Connor, especially during the investigation scenes that he has, uh, as well as a lot of the uh, really intricate sounds that comes out with it. And this is what it sounds like. So this is the Centaur. This is actually the instrument I grew up playing when I was little. Um, I like utilizing unusual sounds and unusual instruments for different projects. Um, and this was another one that uh, I modified a little bit, but uh, it's not used in its own traditional sound of just without uh, strings and it's completely out of tune because I've put it through the paces. Uh, but what the sound is, is this very, very muffled kind of if you will the sound of a inside of a piano and i used it for all the action scenes that it just this driving force that happens throughout the uh, throughout the sound and it sounds something like this and i take the sound and i manipulate it in many different ways uh, so and the sound of Connor. so this is the Connor guitar um, as you can see, it's a 20-foot uh, apparatus, if you will, of uh, piano strings that I had my welder help me build with some of these uh, piping. Uh, I wanted to capture the subharmonic sounds of an uh, instrument to get that inner working of Connor. Uh, and we have contact mics set up on these, and, and basically that's where the, most of the sound is coming from. And this is what it sounds like. Thank you. 